All right. Joining me now for more front page politics, politics staff writer for Roll Call, Shira Tuplitz, and White House reporter for The Washington Post, David Nakamura. Hi to you both. Glad for, to have you. Hi, Alex. Good afternoon, Alex. Uh, David, the president says that if he wins Virginia, he's going to win four more years in the White House. Of course, he won that state by six in 2008. But what do you get the sense from the White House right now about the president's chances in Virginia? How do they see it? Well, Alex, I think the president's campaign feels good about Virginia. It's not a coincidence that two months ago when the president, you know, officially launched his reelection campaign, he picked Virginia and Ohio on the same day to sort of make his first speeches. He's back again the last two days. He's going to be spending a lot of time there. I think you'll see that the, the, the polls right now show him with a, a bit of a lead over Mitt Romney. And it's all the more important because I think in neighboring North Carolina, the president's going to have a little bit of a tougher time. He only won Carolina by 14,000 votes last time. It's going to be nip and tuck. And actually, the, the, the numbers are not looking as Good there, so I think that puts more emphasis on Virginia. The demographics in Virginia are growing uh, a, a bit more favorable to the president, and you have a popular former governor, Tim Kaine, who's going to be engaged in a, in a tight race for the Senate. There, it's going to bring out the vote. So I think it's an important battleground, and one you're going to see the president continue to go back to. Sure, how crucial a win is Virginia for the president? And where does Mitt Romney fit into the equation here in this state? Yeah, I think Virginia is important for the president. Uh, I don't think it's in the must-win category, perhaps like Ohio or Pennsylvania, but it's definitely important. I think there are 13 electoral votes there. Uh, the latest Real Clear Politics average shows uh, Barack Obama with about a three-point edge over Mitt Romney, so it is very competitive still. Uh, Mitt Romney has taken campaign trips to Virginia, but not as frequently as Barack Obama. Perhaps that's also because the White House is just a few short miles across mm -hmm. the river from Virginia, but still, it highlights what an important state it is for the president. Okay, let's switch gears here, David. I want to talk about Mitt Romney, who's fighting back against the Obama campaign's attacks on his time at Bain Capital. And here's what Mitt Romney told NBC's Peter Alexander. The president's campaign has been, uh, I think, uh, outrageous in making the kind of charges they have. I think the kinds of attacks are beneath the dignity of the presidency. I think the president needs to rein in his campaign and start talking about the real issues people care about, which relate to our economy. David, are you hearing any new reaction from the White House based on uh, what they heard in the five interviews Mitt Romney gave yesterday? Well, I, th I don't think the White House is going to back down from this. And the reason is because I think they think they're getting some traction here. Uh, polls show in swing states that uh, Mitt Romney is being hurt by some of these accusations, whether they like it or not. And uh, right this, just this morning, the president released another tough advertisement that again goes to this exact thing of offshoring and bank accounts that are in the Cayman Islands. Um, and that, you know, that ad is very damaging. It sh you know, shows Mitt Romney singing uh, America the Beautiful, uh, you know, superimposed with uh, clips from newspapers talking about these, these accounts that are hidden off offshore. And uh, I think, the, like you said, no matter what uh, Mitt Romney is saying in these television interviews, it's not really going to change the uh, campaign, the Obama campaign's mind, uh, that this is an area uh, of weakness for, uh, for Mitt Romney. And Shira, I mentioned these five back-to-back -back interviews. How unprecedented is something like this for Mitt Romney? And do you think this issue is going to move independent voters come November? I think it's very unusual for Mitt Romney to do so many television interviews. In the past, he's actually taken a lot of criticism for not being as open with the press as some of his predecessors on, on the ticket. On the ticket, uh, it was. I think what Mitt Romney's campaign wanted to do was to shut the door on a lot of these accusations on Bain, to get rid of the tax issue by talking to all these news organizations and letting all, it all out in the open. And I'm pretty sure it did the opposite. I think we're st we still have questions. A lot of reporters still want to ask him various things about this. And the Obama campaign, as David pointed out, is still on the attack about it. So I'm not sure the campaign was very successful in this effort. I want to ask you also, Shira, about um, the, the governor who was also on the defense about releasing more of his tax returns. Here's what he said about that. Well, I understand that the opposition research people at the uh, Obama campaign want more information that they can try and dig through. You know what? I put out as much as we're going to put out once I've added the, the year, this year. And uh, that's the information that gives people more information than is required by law. He released, Shira, a ton of information to the McCain campaign in 08 when they were vetting him as a possible Veep candidate. So why not release that information now? Why not release the last four years of tax returns? I mean, you know what it leads people to believe? It leads people to believe the worst, Alex. 
Alex, it leaves people to believe that he is hiding something, whether or not he is. Mitt Romney is right. The Obama campaign would like him to release his tax returns because it is more opposition research fodder for them to dig through. But the, when he cited the requirement by law, the truth is the law doesn't require candidates to release that much about their personal financial situations. We at Roll Call go through personal financial disclosures for every member of Congress, and they just don't tell us that much. So uh, in many ways, he is actually not releasing that much information by just releasing what is required by law. David, why not just release more of his tax returns and put this issue to rest? It's not like everyone doesn't already see him as a wealthy, successful businessman, which one would expect would be reflected in his tax returns. Well, I think it makes uh, you people wonder kind of what the Obama campaign is sort of you know trying to hit him on, which is what else is in there. And uh, if he could, if he did just release it, would would it raise more questions? I think mean, that's the question. At the same time, reporters continue to do their own investigating. We see story after story. The Boston Globe had two this week, um, talking about you know Mitt Romney's time at Bain and and is and you know sort of how how secretive uh, some of his dealings might have been or might not have been. And you know the Romney campaign, no matter how hard they try, they can't seem to put it to rest. What about the one-time rival Rick Santorum appearing at the opening of a Romney campaign office there in Pennsylvania today, Shira? Is that a sign that you think the senator, uh, Senator Santorum, rather, is now fully behind Mr. Romney? What do you make of this? Uh, I'm not sure if he's fully behind Mr. Romney. It's been kind of a slow courtship. Uh, usually the number two runner-up in Republican politics tries to angle himself and be next in line. And Santorum is, definitely has that title. He was number two runner-up in the primary. But he's very, it's a very unusual case because there's been this outstanding tension between him and Mr. Romney. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't call it a full-throttled endorsement yet or anything like that. I think there's still some tension between those two. But, David, since he's not going to be on the ticket this time around. Do you think it does at least get Santorum supporters to throw their support behind Mitt Romney now? I think that's an important factor. I mean, getting all, getting consolidating the support from the Republican side after that brutal primary is is, is what uh, Mitt Romney has done fairly well. You see that with uh, campaign uh, finance donations, uh, and now getting out people out to the polls is going to be an important part of it. So any of this uh, kind of uh, you know consolidation and, and sort of unity on the uh, on the Republican side is very helpful. Okay, David Nakamura, Shira Tuplett, you guys are always helpful with our discussion. Thanks so much. Thanks.